What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And as you see by the thumbnail behind me, we got the Zuko song, No Way Out, Reimagined by Divine Music. And I'm pretty sure this is featuring Chewy Cat. If I'm not mistaken, hold on, let me look at the description. Yeah, it is. So, apparently, like, oh, it's basically like this. Whatever Fable do, Whatever Fable gonna do, the vibe gonna do it too. So like how if y'all remember I reacted to Fable's like Cross My Heart, Cross My Heart, Reimagine One, the Dobby song from like if I'm not mistaken either late last year, like 2022, so probably, right? So I figured so divide like you know what? Since in a way this is how I'm looking at it, because I see one of the reasons why in the description. But also the other one is like, you know what? Since Fable did it, I'ma do it too. And like how in the description it says about how it has been a few years since the release of the original one and wanted to do something special for the live action, the Netflix version and such. I gotta say, what I mean hey, it's basically like this. If anyhow there's gonna be a Netflix live action to a certain either anime or whatnot you know for a fact probably most nerdcore artists gonna wanna go back to do their initial take on their first original song of it and wanna do it something even better so hey and I ain't gonna lie I listened to it a few little times I listened to the original one a few little times only halfway through so that way I can get the full experience of how it sounded but either way we better check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe Follow me on my socials up there, and without further ado, let's get in the video. Imagine. Show me my phone. The stroke get any longer. I just want to go home. And maybe if I was a little stronger, you would face me. I don't know. The truth is, I don't know if I'm on track because my back's against the wall. I'm trying to find direction because the way that I've been going is out of my control. Yes. I figured he was gonna do something like this, what Fable did on his or reimagined one for Cross My Heart. Yeah. Where it probably is still gonna be the same lyrics and such, but like how it's with a different production, different like vocal effects and such. So yeah. I like it when it's like that. I'm so conflicted cause it's so addictive I can't erase the past with demons well protected See my head not and never felt connected Is this Chewie. me as I am Always on fire on the inside Please help me make amends Yeah Nobody sees me like you do Please help me to survive The only one who ever really cared for me Or help me feel alive You're the one who won't give up on me What do you you gonna hit that high Nah, 
nigga. Nah. He are look. Ooh, nah. That gave me chills. Nah, that damn high. I be telling y'all. That is when you know somebody can really sing, sing. Cause if they ain't giving you goosebumps, I don't know if y'all can see it, but nigga, when he did that high note, that's when you. Hold on, let me make sure there ain't nobody else in the background doing it with him and such. And that's all Chewy Cat, cause nigga, ain't no way you finna hit a perfectly good high note like that. Let me see. <laughs> so the credits are songwriting, divide, and Chewy Cat. Production, mix and mastered by Divine. <laughs> Extra drum sauce by Fable, of course. See, what I told you. If Divide gonna do if Fable gonna do it, Divide is as well. So you know he had to have Fable on it and such. And the video editing by Darth Raven and thumbnail by Sam Mayo Arts. Hey, either way. That day. This high note is probably 10 times more fire than the first one. Like, hold on a second. You might have to just hit me with a high note like that and think I won't run it back? Crazy. And it was much better when the beat is good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm out. I'm done. Nah. This reaction is over. I'm gone. Bye. Because this nigga did not just. Oh, let me just real quick. Because hell nah. And if y'all hear. If y'all hear a fan in the background, my apologies. Because. In my room for the past two days or so, it's been cold because the AC. So, yeah. But nah. You're not finna come in here and just. Yeah. I always said, whether you call it a remix, reimagine, whatever the case may be. If you do something like this with your. one of your best songs and such, right? That, Got you popular, no matter what it is, nerdcore, mainstream, whatever, right? And you do a remix, reimagine, like I said. This just shows you of how the production, how it was before, even if it was fire of the original, right? With the reimagined version, remix version, whatever, this shows you how much you've came throughout the years and such. Because from the first initial of how this song was, it was already fire as it is. But with now, with the way how the vibes music is nowadays, and it's production wise, because you got to think, as an artist and as, a and as a producer, engineer, or whatnot. Not only it shows you for the music side of how your music has become, but how if you're a producer as well, how your levels of how you can mix and master some vocals, produce some fire beats. Basically of how you came from how it was the original to how you are now. How how the level up has become. Cause nigga, that damn choir in the background. Cause I'm surprised you didn't put a choir in there and such. Cause nigga, this is what it sounded like. Oh, look. Sorry, that perfect. Listen. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, 
yeah, this is definitely new. Ooh, that was a fire product. Now, go back for that breakdown. What you mean? That was a fire ass breakdown. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. And it's an epic. Because, you know, in most like live action for like Netflix or whatnot, you know, there's going to be like some epic type of production percussion or so nigga that this right here will fit it perfectly i be telling i be telling y'all what i've been telling y'all for divided music over the years that anytime i react to either divide or fable that these guys songs could be on freaking soundtracks for either movies or games or whatnot anime or whatnot cuz nigga you cannot tell me this don't sound you need to tell me if you see like a fire a uh, freaking no pun intended fire battle and such right you don't think this product this like particular breakdown ain't gonna be on it cuz nigga I guarantee you it will like this sounds so fucking menacing And then come in sicking. Ooh, they're clapping. I hear the claps. I can't even sing it like he does it. Hmm. This makes me want to go watch the live action now. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, man. This makes me want to go watch the live action now. Let me leave a little light down there for them and such. Because, nigga, what? Crazy, so yeah, like I said, whenever there's like a reimagined remix or whatever for a nerdcore song, I guarantee you, not only you gonna eat, this gonna make you want to comp like think of which which version of the song is better, is it the original or the reimagined one? But in a way. This just shows you like the elevation, like the level up of over the years of how his song ability has become and his production wise has become if you are a producer. Not only if you do write and do your music and such, but also if you produce your beats as well. <laughs> yeah. But hey man, shout out to the for one more time for the people who was involved in this. Shout out to Divide, to Chewy Cat on that freaking core on his part right there and that high note Yeesh. shout out to fable with the extra drum sauce uh, like that big old boom the epicness of that drum shout out to darth raven on the edit and hey shout out to sam sorry if i butcher your name wrong sam Mayo May arts i'm gonna just say sam arts for right now but yeah shout out to everybody who was involved in this reimagining such because yeah, this is definitely epic, cinematic, you can say. But yo, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. And if you made it to the end, comment down below, cinematic. <laughs> comment down below, cinematic, and that makes me know you made it to the end. But it's been your boy, Homo Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. I'm out.